Welcome back boys. I'm gonna cut right to the chase on this one. Today we're gonna be testing the zero to 60 on this BMW M340i. This thing is a 2020 and it's not stock. We're gonna start you right there. We've got a intake stage two, downpipe and tune going on on this thing. This thing is all wheel drive, so it's gonna help us out a lot on that zero to 60. But just check out that white color underneath these gas station lights. We all know that the gas station lights give us the best possible lighting. We're gonna take a little look ski inside here. Beautiful brown interior, some of my favorite. I think we should hear what this thing sounds like. I always get uncomfortable when there's like just random pedestrians just walking around when I'm filming. They probably think, who is this idiot screaming at a camera? I'm not gonna lie guys, that sounded pretty good. We only arrived it up to about four grand, so still got a couple thousand RPMs left in it. All right, so you guys know the drill. We got the draggy. We're uh, heading over to our spot to do some pulls. I'm gonna let you guys hear that exhaust while we pull out of here. It sounds pretty nuts. Stock time on the M340i is 3.9 seconds, zero to 60. Now, I've kind of mentioned this in a couple other videos before, but sometimes you have to take those times with a grain of salt. That is the absolute best time that BMW can put down in this car. What I mean by that is they have a pro driver, they have absolute amazing conditions, probably on a great tire. That is the best of the best for this car. So sometimes when you have maybe like a manual transmission or not the best conditions, don't expect to repeat that time. So just if you're doing something like this at home, don't get discouraged if your car is not as fast as it says it is on paper. But our advantage here, we have the all wheel drive, which is huge advantage for zero to 60, obviously. And then we've got the uh, stage two tune, downpipe, intake. I think that all those together will probably, I think we're definitely gonna be under fours. That's my opinion. Yeah. I think we're kind of gonna be right around there right around the 3.9. Best case between like 3.6, 3.7, and then worst case like 4.1, but I'm really not sure. So uh, only one way to find out. Reset whenever you're ready. Yeah, 3.72. Reset, poll number three. 3.8. In a 7.7 eighth of a mile. That's pretty good, dude. What do you think we got? So, with the mods it's done to it, zero to 60, I'd say, Four, 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 three. Um, maybe four, five. Uh, maybe because it's spin a little bit, but we got three, seven. Three, seven. Yeah. Yeah, dude. This thing. That's is, ridiculous. The all-wheel drive. It 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 feels faster than my butt. From what oh, really? definitely. I mean, I mean, all-wheel drive from a dig is just gnarly. I mean, yeah, especially with these automatics too. Like you know, it's like minimal work. You know. You this is, this isn't a ten speed, right? What is this? No, eight speed. Eight, eight speed, speed, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So no, I mean, dude, this is where the B58 shines. These motors are insane. Like. And this is the Gen 2, so it's got the forged internals and whatnot. So, so it's ready for more power. So it's, I mean, yeah. I mean, did he tell you he's going pure 800s? I, I, I did hear that, yeah. Conservatively, 700 wheel with those fucking turbos, dude. I actually never asked, what is this thing uh, stock putting down, power-wise? 382 to the crank. 382 to the crank. So we're probably thinking like 420. 420 yeah. yeah, okay. Perfect. Which is still insane for an all-wheel drive car, four doors. In luxury. What does it weigh, do you know? 36? Somewhere around like 34, 3600. Yeah, around there. Okay. It's nothing too crazy. Not bad. I mean, it's still... Dude, it, for a daily, could you imagine? Like My daily does it in about eight and a half seconds. Yeah, that's... Yeah. So these right here are the stock times for the BMW. Uh, 3.9 is that... Pretty much exactly that factory one that we were talking about. So it's safe to say that uh, 
the mods did at least a uh, 0.2 off the 0 to 60, with I, which I think is pretty good. It's kind of cold right now. I'm sure on like a little bit of a better day, we probably could have done like a 3.6 or even a little bit better. But like he said, he's going big turbo in a little bit. So probably going to be pushing it sub 3.5 definitely soon. So usually when we shoot these videos, you notice that we have like the uh, video portion of the draggies on. But for some reason, uh, where we're at right now, we were having a lot of satellite issues. I don't know, maybe satellites aren't connecting very well in this part of Mexico or something like that. I kept getting an error that said it wasn't connecting to the satellite, so we couldn't use that feature right now. That's why we had to use that uh, small portion there. But we still got our times. They're still accurate. I don't think it gives us the chart at the end there. Or at least I haven't figured out how to do that yet. So unfortunately, we can't really review that. We still did really good. I'm impressed with the 3.7. That all-wheel drive helped us out a lot, and that uh, that tune really probably woke that thing up too. So that's all for that video, guys. Just gonna be a short one right now. Had the opportunity to shoot this little video with the BMW, so I took it. Hope you guys enjoyed that one, and I would love to see you sticking around.